All right, we're being asked to find the center radius form of a circle. We're given the center, and we're told that the circle is tangent to the y-axis. Tangent uh, means just touches in Latin, so solution. So let's start by maybe writing down the formula of the center radius form of a circle. So it's this, right, y minus k squared equals r squared. And we do have the center, so we can certainly plug that in. This is h, and this is k. So that should be x minus 5 quantity squared plus, and then y minus negative 1. Negative and negative is a positive. So you get y plus 1 squared equals r squared. Okay, so now we need to find r squared, or r. Um, so let's draw a picture. I think that could maybe do it for us. Let's see. So that's the y-axis. That's a pretty straight line. That's the x-axis. Here's x, and here's y. And let's see if we can somehow involve this in our picture. So the center is 5, negative 1. So if we go right 5 and down 1, we're here maybe. So this is 5, negative 1. And we're told the circle just touches the y-axis. This is the y-axis right here. So it's just going to touch this axis. So let's see. If we draw a circle that just touches, it will look something like that, right? I'm drawing it dotted because it's easier to draw a dotted circle than a solid one. That's a pretty good circle. Okay, so it just touches right here. So, oh, look, look, what did we find? We found the radius, right? R is equal to, well, if this is x equals 5 and this is x equals 0, then we found the radius, which is 5. Beautiful stuff. This is x minus 5 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 5 squared, which is 25. And that's it. It was kind of fun. Uh, it's, it's always fun when you draw a picture and then you look at it and you say, oh, look, you know, I have the solution. Um, so yeah, nice, nice problem. I hope this helps someone out there.